Hey gamers, thanks for tuning in to Fire Chicken Review. Uh, we're a channel that loves to focus on some custom gaming products that you can get for some of your favorite games. Today we're going to be looking at uh, Arkham Horror The Living Card Game. I'm a big fan of this uh, co-op game, so I was very excited to, to do a custom token review uh, by Arbit's uh, Tokens, which is this guy right here. Arbit's.com uh, is the site that you can go to to see this products that was gifted to me. You may notice that uh, I've done uh, reviews in the past for uh, this uh, company, for Keyforge and a few other things that are coming uh, down the line as well. Uh, if you're wondering about it, don't worry. Uh, I will be uh, linking it uh, below in the description so that if you want to buy these uh, tokens and you think they're interesting, you can go right ahead. All right, getting into uh, the review, let's zoom back in on these tokens. You're like, oh, most of those tokens look like uh, the tokens from the game. That's right, these are uh, the Chaos uh, tokens uh, from uh, the base game. I have them on top of all of them except for two, uh, mainly because I uh, play this game with uh, a few friends of mine. They own uh, the game and they didn't lend me two of the Chaos tokens from the bag. The auto fail and the auto succeed. But anyhow, don't worry, I'll murder them slowly another time. That being said, uh, getting right into it, uh, what I plan to do here is just to show you what the, the cardboard token looks like and what uh, Arbit uh, has done to make uh, their tokens uh, nice and fancy. Um, getting right into it, let's start with uh, the auto fail. Ooh, no one likes uh, failing. This is uh, my least uh, favorite one for obvious reasons because when you make your roll so that you can only pass and then you pull this out of the bag, it is... Devastating. Okay, <laughs> that being said, uh, so what uh, this token is, is it's super shiny, it's really nice uh, looking, and uh, what it actually is, it's it's a uh, fiberglass gold-plated uh, token, which if you've never owned a fiberglass uh, gold-plated uh, token uh, before, uh, you're probably not uh, the first, because when I first heard from uh, this company and they were telling me that, I was like, say what? Uh, but then I started doing some of the reviews and I was like, wow, these are interesting. So it almost uh, feels like it should be metal, then you pick it up and you're like, oh wow, it's actually quite uh, light. And if you look at it closely, you can see on the inside, you're like, oh, I can see how the fiberglass is actually on the inside. And it has a nice uh, shine to it. And I'll be comparing it to the cardboard. You can say, wow, these are just so much better. It's nice that it's also white, but it has that uh, metallic uh, feel as well. So it's uh, if you're carrying it to a game night, you're not going to have to worry about it weighing you uh, down. Uh, uh, for the auto fail token itself, uh, this is actually really nice. I love uh, the red that they've done. I love uh, the detail that uh, they've put in it. Uh, and it's just uh, the same on uh, both sides. And I'll mention this uh, now, actually, that uh, you don't have to worry. Uh, you know, when I think about uh, tokens uh, for this game, I'm worried about am I going to feel uh, the difference uh, from uh, the token so that I always get the, the auto succeed. I mean, that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> but that being said, uh, there's no... Uh, bumps or anything on here, you're not going to be able to tell the difference between the all succeed, all fail, or any of the other uh, tokens. So that is a, a major uh, concern for some people. Plus, if you think that it is going to be a concern or you, or you don't want to damage these uh, fantastic looking uh, tokens, what you can do is if you put them in uh, coin capsules, then you really don't have to worry about it. And these will easily fit in uh, coin capsules. So yeah, I think this one uh, looks uh, fairly nice. That's the all fail. Auto succeed, the elder sign. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I, I like this one as well. I love that it had uh, the nice uh, red easily depicted as soon as you pick that auto fail and then the auto succeed, you get the blue and you're like, yes, I thought I was going to fail this. Uh, and it's just a nice looking uh, token. It has that uh, nice uh, little uh, flair to it. I think it's a really nice uh, token, nice and bright in uh, this bright light, of course. So that's uh, awesome there. And I'm just going to quickly go over some of uh, the other uh, tokens and other symbols. So showing again, this is what uh, the cardboard uh, token looks like in the, the for this chaos uh, token. And this is what uh, they've done. So as you can see, it's uh, pretty much uh, exactly uh, the same in this case. Uh, some well, not exactly the same. They have, they've gone and they've done a little bit of a different artwork. Uh, the hood's a little bit further down in this custom token than it is in here. Uh, and uh, I think uh, Arbit's tokens has done a really good job, actually. I think uh, the, the level of detail is really nice. And I think it uh, shines quite well. And again, they're double-sided. Um, 
but just like uh, the cardboard uh, one, it's just the same image on uh, both sides and I don't have any uh, issues uh, with uh, that. Um, yeah, so that works out uh, pretty well there. I think it's, uh, I like how they put, instead of having the green, like it all over like it is in here, just having that line of green, keeping that darkness. I love uh, the symmetry in all these uh, tokens as well. I think they did a really nice job. So this, this one here, moving on to the next one which I actually have a problem with the cardboard one. I just don't like, uh, I think it's like a glyph. Uh, someone can correct me of what this is supposed to be. It's supposed to be like some um, uh, language that you don't understand and it's supposed to be like a glyph or something. I, I just never liked the artwork on here. And the artwork on this one, this, uh, the, the tablet looks a little bit uh, better, I think. Uh, it just looks a little bit nicer than what uh, the base uh, game had. So I thought they did a really nice uh, job. Uh, I like that they also added a little bit of uh, color. So just having uh, that uh, blue added uh, there. And uh, overall, it looks uh, pretty nice. I love uh, that they went with a little bit of a custom uh, design. So that's uh, really cool. Uh, again, on the back side, just the same thing. So that's this one. Moving on to the next one. Uh, here's another one that I'm not the, the biggest uh, fan. It's very Cthulhu feeling. Um, and I think they uh, made it look a little bit nicer. It's just the art itself. It's, I'm just not a fan of this one. I like that they put uh, the white uh, here so it looks uh, good. And again, there's not thing about the, the token itself. It's just like the original one and this. It looks uh, similar. Uh, a little bit more rounded versus uh, this uh, pointed uh, edge here. But it looks, uh, it looks good. I, I think there's a little bit more detail, so it looks uh, nice to have that. And when you pull this symbol, you're easily going to be able to tell. But overall, let me know what you think of this image. I'm just, it's such a weird one. I've, it would have been nice if there was like green or something. I don't know. I, yeah, <laughs> I can go on. Uh, the skull symbol. Um, I already liked the skull symbol. I was like, oh, oh no, did I just pull this? Uh, so, you know, skulls are pretty easily done. And uh, the skull that they do in here, Compared to uh, the base cell one, it's a, it's a great uh, upgrade here. Um, as you can see here, oh, it's just, it, it pops out really nice. It's almost like 3D uh, looking. It's not, of course, but it is, just pops out really good. I love uh, the red on uh, the outside. And again, it's just, uh, it feels uh, symmetric, simplistic, but uh, detailed all at the, the same uh, time. And uh, I think it's just a nice little upgrade compared to uh, the cardboard one. As for uh, the numbers, I won't go into all of uh, the plus ones, minus ones, and whatnot. I'll just do uh, a few here so that you guys don't get uh, bored going over this. Uh, but here's uh, the plus one, having that uh, little bit of green, that, that feeling of, yes, I, I added to my score. This is fantastic. Uh, I think that's uh, really cool. And uh, yeah, look, uh, tell me how this is not just an awesome little upgrade. Um, I haven't uh, shown you this, but like these are actually... I think they're pretty much exactly the same size. So how cool is that? But like most custom tokens, when you get them, they're going to be either bigger or smaller. These are pretty much like exactly the same size. The weight is not that much different. These are a little bit heavier, obviously, because it's not cardboard, but they're not that much heavier. So like this is just such a uh, cool little upgrade to, to get. And it's nice and shiny. So there's uh, the plus one, uh, the zero. And I'll just show like the minus one and I'll call it a day from there. So here's uh, the minus one and it goes up to, of course, uh, to the minus eight. So you get uh, 44 of uh, these tokens, which is basically, uh, if I recall right, the exact same amount that you get in uh, the core set of Arkham Horror, the living card game. So this is an easy uh, replacement. Again, like just nice and shiny, looks uh, great. You can get these uh, cardboard ones out there. Um, and yeah, like I'll just go back to the all fail and all success. I mean, these look beautiful. It's just a nice contrast, a little bit of uh, color, and that's all you really uh, need. Uh, now, my biggest sticking point uh, for this, I think these are absolutely beautiful. Uh, the only thing is I think this is going to be a little bit harder to get in uh, because these aren't uh, cheap uh, tokens. You're looking about, uh, I think, between 70 and uh, 80 US for uh, a set of these. But that's because they're not cheap to make either, right? So if you're looking to upgrade your game and you're going to be playing it a lot, uh, I, I would highly uh, recommend this. 
Uh, the only challenging aspect I can think of is that these are more of a luxurious uh, token uh, set. So they're going to set you back a little bit more than some other uh, tokens that you may be uh, looking at versus just having the cardboard ones. Do I think it's worth it? Uh, I know that me and my group are very much looking forward uh, to using uh, this. I have to thank Arbitz uh, for uh, giving me uh, these uh, tokens again. Because, yeah, these are absolutely fantastic. Easy uh, re replacement. They're something different. And it, the feeling uh, that they've done uh, with these uh, are, is just uh, awesome. The last thing I want to cover as I zoom uh, back into the overall image is that you see uh, these uh, little path uh, markers uh, around here. Oh, well, let me grab uh, one of these. Like, if you haven't played Arkham, then you're watching my review anyhow. I appreciate it. But, hey, you should check out Arkham. So, with Arkham uh, Horror, the living card game, you're going to have a bunch of locations that uh, are going to be connected uh, with each other. And sometimes, like, uh, Venice one, it's just a circle. So, this is a little bit easier one. So, that it's just going to go in a circle. It's not as big of a deal here. But sometimes, you're going to have different symbols down here. And locations are going to be connected in different uh, ways. So it can be a little bit confusing to your brain, like, ah, which location is what? And so Arbit's uh, tokens, what they did was that they made a very easy uh, path uh, tokens. Again, from the same material, these are uh, fiberglass with a gold plate. And uh, these are just nice uh, path markers. So just nice uh, little symbology that they have here. Uh, and I love that they're uh, double-sided. So some locations are uh, one way. Uh, you can only go to that location. You can't go uh, back, for example. So you would uh, flip it from the going from this spot, uh, going over here, like uh, these ones here. Uh, then this is all about uh, going clockwise. So you can only go clockwise. You can't go back. So this location can only go here and you can't go back. So in that case, you would have it flip uh, to this side here. And I think that does a uh, wonderful job. Uh, if I can get back zoomed in, maybe not. No? Okay. Um, so it does a wonderful job for when you're looking at uh, that there to show you, hey, I'm going from that location uh, to the next location here, just like so. And you're like, okay, sure, that works out uh, awesome there because it's all going uh, clockwise. Or on the flip side, if they're connected and they can go either way, you can have it like uh, that. These are actually fairly uh, not as expensive as uh, the other tokens. And remember, that's because there's 44 of those where you can order as many or as few as of these as you want. I think they're about like a dollar uh, each. So again, I get the luxury price, but you can get as many as you want. And I would actually use these for a few different games. So that was my uh, quick uh, little review of Arbit's uh, tokens, chaos tokens and path marker tokens for Arkham Horror, the living card game. Uh, if you liked uh, the review, like, subscribe uh, to the channel and check out some of our other reviews. And uh, if you haven't uh, seen it, maybe you're into Keyforge. Hey, uh, these are tokens uh, that are made by Arbit's uh, tokens as well uh, that I've reviewed in the past. And I'll be sharing uh, links to all that. So let me know what you thought of this. And I hope you have a good time. Later, everyone.